Hey, what's up, dudes? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video and actually a new series. In this series, we're going to be going through and talking about some of the most likely and least likely video game franchises to come to Dead by Daylight. And the one I wanted to start out with was the one that kind of soared my channel into people's eyes, and that is Springtrap and Five Nights at Freddy's. Well, I'm not actually a fan of Five Nights at Freddy's or Springtrap myself, I can actually see the appeal of this character coming to Dead by Daylight. So, with that being said, let's break down how possible this character is for Dead by Daylight. We're going to be basing this on community popularity, franchise popularity, whether the devs have talked about the character before, and has the character been teased before. But before we get completely into it, I would like to ask you guys, if you are updated, informed, or entertained, please consider liking this video. It helps out a ton with visibility and showing it off to more people, and it means a ton to me. And for more Dead by Daylight content like this, please subscribe to the channel. We're going to be doing this series on a bunch of different characters, and I hope to see all of you dudes over there. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So Springtrap was introduced in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, and he became a very famous and favorite character and that popularity has even came over to dead by daylight being one of the most requested chapters in dead by daylight history dead by daylight and behavior have also shown that they're not afraid to do video game franchises in dead by daylight recently getting the resident evil chapter including nemesis jill and leon of course with the claire and chris skins and a silent hill chapter with pyramid head cheryl and a ton of legendary skins for cheryl so they've shown that they will do it and one of the most important things when it comes to getting a licensed character in dead by daylight is dev support do the the devs actually have interest in this license? Well, thanks to some Reddit deep diving, I have actually found a couple of different spots where Springtrap or Five Nights at Freddy's in general has been talked about by one of the devs. This Reddit poster, The Scribe, posted the developer stream number 84 from four years ago, so 2018, where the question was asked, recently you talked about licensed movie killers you would like to see. What are some licensed video game killers you would like to see? And the UI designer, Sarah Robinson, she was UI designer at the time, I don't know if she still is, but she responded with Five Nights at Freddy's. And Matthew Cote was in this interview too, and he didn't really say too much but correct her on how she originally pronounced Five Nights at Freddy's, so he didn't make an official statement here, but he has made an official statement in the past, and this comes from another Reddit post from the user OnyxX Dark Knight. And he posted a couple of posts on Twitter that he had, and it says, So since people have been asking for a FNAF chapter in Dead by Daylight, and Dalco Games already emailed Scott about such a thing, I did my part in asking. Asked Matthew Cote if such a chapter could even be possible. He couldn't talk about this, but I managed to get a statement from him. He told me the following, anything is possible. If there is a property out there that we feel would make Dead by Daylight better, then it may happen someday. Obviously, anything that has been discussed that is being discussed currently or that might be discussed in the future is top secret and can't be commented on until time for the reveal. This means that a FNAF chapter could be possible in the future. And also very recently, thanks to all the hype surrounding Five Nights at Freddy's and Springtrap during the Hellraiser teases, this came from Leaks by Daylight. Now this is a leak, so you have to take it with a grain of salt, but it does make sense that something like this would be being discussed inside of Behavior. But Leaks by Daylight did say it's not easy, but Behavior would like to please the community on a chapter in collaboration with Five Nights at Freddy's. The source is the same that allowed me to anticipate that the Resident Evil chapter would have Leon Kennedy, Jill, and Nemesis. Take that with a grain of salt, but even though the devs haven't talked about it, there is some sources saying that they are internally talking about it. Now, like I said, when it comes to the popularity of the character, he's one of the most requested characters in Dead by Daylight history, and the popularity of the game franchise is actually incredibly insane, and I didn't even know how popular it was until I started researching the character. So, the popularity, the request for the character is there, and I already think that makes him a very, very likely character because Dead by Daylight, you know, opposed to what some people might say, they do listen to the fans. They do listen to the people that play the game and the requests. And I think that's why we've seen a lot of the chapters that we've actually seen in the game. And when it comes to teases, we don't really have to look further back than a couple of weeks ago. As it seems like this character was really teased during all the Hellraiser teases. And a lot of people have chalked that up to coincidence, but I'm not really buying into that entirely. This character was very blatantly teased in multiple different ways if you go back and look at all the teases. I'm not going to directly state them here because that would take an extra 4-5 or five minutes. And I don't really like for my videos like this to go on that long, but I do have every video talking about every tease in my Dead by Daylight playlist if you'd like to watch them. But Dead by Daylight and Behavior have shown in the past that they will tease future chapters and teases for the current releasing chapter. They did that all the way back in the Spirits teaser trailer when they blatantly teased the Oni by having his mask hanging in the Spirits trailer itself. So they will tease future chapters and current chapters teases. But there's also a lot of drama around this license as of right now when it comes to the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's that a lot of people think will keep 
Spring Trap and Five Nights at Freddy's completely out of Dead by Daylight, but I don't think that's entirely the case. In my opinion, I don't really think behavior, and I'm not going to completely go into it, but I don't think behavior and Dead by Daylight really take politics into consideration when adding characters to a game. They might take something a little bit more life or death into consideration when it comes to a character like Jeepers Creepers. If anybody knows the history of the creator of Jeepers Creepers, you'd know why we'll probably never see a chapter for that in Dead by Daylight. But I don't really know if they're going to take a political stance into consideration at all. They could, I'm not entirely sure when it comes to that specific thing. But even when it comes to that controversy, I don't think it's going to matter much in the near future anyway, as Scott Cawthon, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy's, has actually retired since the controversy happened with plans for someone else to oversee the future of Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, who is that going to be? I'm not entirely sure. I've done my research, but I cannot for the life of me find who the license is actually going to, if it even has been announced who will get it at this point in time or not. So I don't really think that plays too much into the likelihood of a Five Nights at Freddy's chapter coming to Dead by Daylight. So overall, with the popularity of the franchise itself and the popularity of the franchise within the Dead by Daylight community and the fact that it does seem like it has been teased very recently, I do think Springtrap is a very likely character to come in Dead by Daylight's future. Behavior does do two licensed chapters a year, and for the past two years, at least one of those licensed chapters has been video games. And in both years, the video game chapters actually ended up coming out on the anniversary of the game. So maybe we could be looking at a Five Nights at Freddy's chapter for the sixth anniversary of Dead by Daylight. But those are my thoughts on Five Nights at Freddy's coming to Dead by Daylight. I think it's a very, very possible thing that we will see in the very near future, whether it's the next licensed chapter next year or whether it doesn't happen until 2023. I definitely think this character will end up in Dead by Daylight eventually. Five Nights at Freddy's is actually in my top three most likely licensed chapters to come to this game. But I want you guys to let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Do you want a Five Nights at Freddy's chapter? Is there another chapter, video game chapter? chapter that you'd like to see more than that and what other video game chapters would you like to hear me talk about let me know in the comments down below but that's going to do it for me guys thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it my name is Tootin. i've been your host and i'll see you dudes next time peace out